What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Big Boy Facts Johnny. Today, I'm going to do my WWE NXT review on highlights. If you guys new, hit that like button, share the video, subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. So, we're kicking things off with Dakota Kai and Bukal Gazaz versus Il Shirai and Zoe Starks. This was a decent match, decent tag team match to start the show off. So, it says the um, the winners of the match, Dakota Kai and Bukal Gonzalez. They pick up the W. Shirai and Gonzalez get, in, get into other space. Kai tries to attack Shirai from behind. Shirai gets club by Gonzalez. Gonzalez power bumps right on the announcer desk which doesn't break. Alright, let's move on. So we get backstage. Um, Kyle Riley arrives at the arena. He is flanked by security. Roger Strong walks in and says they need to kick Adam Cole's you know what tonight for what he has done to them. Kyle Riley says there is no us. Strong pause and tells Hawaii that he can go to go to hell and, and so can Cole. So we get Bronson Reed versus LA Knight. This was a decent match by itself. It says um, the winner. It says um, um, Bronson LA Knight pokes Bronson Reed in the in the um, eye. Um, hold on, hold on, guys. It says, um, Bron L.A. Knight pokes Bronson Reed in the forehead. Reed, Bronson Reed tosses L.A. Knight all over the ring. L L.A. Knight dives off the second rope and gets caught in a power slam. Bronson Reed lays a few chops before working in surfboard stretch. L.A. LA Knight surprises Reed with a slingshot shoulder block. Knight works over Reed. Reed fires up and miss, miss a splash in the corner. Knight hits a neck breaker. Reed fires up again and run and re fires up again. Reed runs overnight. Reed hits a crow screw choke slam. Reed goes up top. Knight cuts him off. Reed hits a splash off the top for the win. The re the winner of the match, Bronson Reed. DC match by the way. Due to Danny Burch injury, the NXT tag titles have been vacated at Takeover. MSK versus Grill Young, Young Veterans versus Lego Del Fantasma will be for the vacant, vacant titles. All right, let's move on. So we get um, Karen, Karen Cross versus Onay Lorcan. This was a fun match to watch. This match was good as well. Lorcan attacks Karen Cross as, the bell, as soon as the bell rings. Karen Cross tosses toss Lorcan to the corner. Lorcan and Cross trade shots. Um, Lorcan, I mean, not Lorcan, I'm sorry. Cross launches Lorcan out of the ring. Cross sends Lorcan to the barricade. Lorcan tries a suplex, but Cross reverses it into a su suplex of his own. Cross sends Lorcan back into the ring. Lorcan lights Cross up with a nasty knife edge chop. Drop kick by Lorcan. Lorcan lands a running uppercut in the corner. Um, Lorcan, Lorcan tries another, back, another, um, Hold on, I found it. Lorcan, it says um Lorcan, Lorcan um, Lorcan tries another um back, black suplex, uh, with a with a lariat. After the break, Cross hits an exploder exploder suplex. Lorcan fires up and sends Cross into the post. Lorcan hits an arm DDT. Cross is clutching at his arm. He hurts. He hurts. Lorcan lands chop after chop. Cross yells. In Lorcan's face, Lorcan hits a running European uppercut. Cross sidesteps Lorcan, backstab, block, blockbuster attempt. Cross floors Lorcan with a big boot. Cross obliterate, obliterates Lorcan with a doomsday seto. Cross blasts Lorcan with with an elbow strike to the back of the head. Cross pins Lorcan. The winner of the match, Karen Cross. This was a fun match to watch. Cross grabs a mic and says he's going to destroy Finn Balor. Balor walks down to the ring. Balor stands over Lorcan, who is laid out by the ramp. Balor steps over Lorcan. Balor says Cross showed him his weaknesses last week. Balor didn't become who he is today until he cuts off his emotions. Cross still fights with emotions. That makes Cross uh, uh, um, Balor vulnerable. Um, Balor is going to push Cross to the to the brink. Um, Balor thinks at at the at takeover, 
Cross emotions will get get the better of him. Balor is going to drag Cross into the deep water and drown him with no emotions. Uh, William Regal has announced there will be a battle royal that will lead to a golfly golfly match. The winner will get a shot at Johnny Gargano's North American Championship by Takeover. All right, let's move on. Bro, can you imagine Alexa Bliss and Scarlett and Scarlett cut this fire promo in the exact same room? That would been that would be money right there. But everything else, but everything was just the confirmed. I had to say that just for fun. But I was at least said with the match carrying Cross versus the Fiend. You know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion. But that was just the confirm. I did that was just for fun. So we get Walter versus Drake Maverick. Drake Maverick did not stand a chance against Walter. Um, Walter has been the United United Kingdom champion for 700 for 700 days. Oh my God, can't complain about that. The winner of the match, Walter. Tommaso Ciampa walks down to the ring. Ciampa said a few weeks ago that he was intrigued by Walter, but what he really mean was he is intrigued by the NXT UK champion. Um, Ciampa wants a title shot. Walter tries to walk away, but Ciampa chops him. Archana and Bartel beat down Ciampa. Walter drops Ciampa and rips off a piece of Ciampa is wearing around his neck. Backstage, Robert Stone and Aaliyah pays Mercedes Martinez to be her partner tonight. Martinez says she will take the this stack, but Stone has to give her another after the match. Stone agrees. Aaliyah is L.A. Elated to to have a new partner, so we get the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, Amber Moon and Shotzi Blackheart versus Aaliyah and Mercedes Martinez, accompanied by Robert Stone. This match didn't really take too long. This match, this tag team match was quick. Says the winner and still your NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, Amber Moon and Shotzi Blackheart. All right, let's move on. So we get backstage, Cameron Grimes. Try to get Strong to sell him the Undisputed Era um, IP. Strong Dex Cameron Grimes. So we get Jordan Devin versus Kushida. What a match. What a match. That's all I got to say. Your range two plus by Devin. Devin follows that with a standing moonsault. Handspring drop kick by Kushida. Kushida tries to twist Devin's arm. Arm breaker by Kushida. Kushida sends Devin out of the ring. After the break, Kushida catches Devin with a handspring back elbow. Kushida decks Devin. Kushida punk kicks Devin in the arm. Kushida tries to lock in the hoverboard lock. Devin fights it off. Slingshot cutter by Devin. Kushida kicks out. Devin tries to tries the Devin slide, but but his arm gives out. Let let go. Let Hits the ring and, and distracts Devin long enough for Kushida to lock in a flying armbar. Um, Devin gets to the bottom rope, but Mendoza and Wild put him out of the ring before they can attack. Devin slides back in the ring. Kushida handspring attacks them both off the apron. Devin rolls up Kushida for the win. The winner of the match, Kushida. Kushida um, gets in, goes nuts and beats up Mendoza and Wild. Kushida dives off the stage and lands him. Lands on Mendoza and Wild. Devin and Escobar stare at each other. Shawn Michaels' music hits. HBK shimmies down to the ramp and pulls, uh, and pulls, ramp and pulls a ladder from under the ring. HBK tips his hat to Devin and Escobar. Devin and Escobar both look at the ladder and then at each other. This that match that match itself. I'm going. I'm looking forward to it. But on the stage. On the stage, William Regal. On the stage, Regal has a table that is surrounded by security. Adam Cole and Kyle Riley are seated at the opposite end. Regal says that he has a contract for a match. Once they both sign it, they will have to agree that the NXT isn't label, label for, liable for anything that happens in the match. This will be an unsanctioned match. Adam Cole says he realized that the Undisputed Era was holding him back. It was Kyle Riley who showed him. That O'Reilly fell at winning the title. O'Reilly had the nerve to try to have Bella, to, Bella join join him. Carl, Adam Cole says this is the best, and he this is the best and takes a backseat to anyone. Cole says he he was the undisputed era. Without him, it's nothing. O'Reilly is nothing. Cole signs the contract before contract before O'Reilly signs. He said he grew up and decided to take 
uh, accountable accountability for his actions. Um, Cole never never did that. That's the problem. Cole is just the same, just the same who walked into NXT years ago. O'Reilly says he is going to to sleep like a baby after he destroys Cole. Cole tells O'Reilly to sign the contract. Cole is really, Cole is Cole says it's O'Reilly's death warrant. O'Reilly chucks the pin at Cole. The security holds them both back and he went up the air. But if you guys join my WWE NXT review on highs, please drop a like on the video, subscribe to my channel, leave my Twitter, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok down below in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Do boy Facts Johnny, and I'm out of here.